how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well finally i got my hands on the all new oxygen os 16 since i had the oneplus 13r i was able to apply for the open beta and got a chance to try out all the new features that are coming to oneplus phones honestly i really liked what they did with this major update I think it's one of the best Android upgrades we have seen this year. Thanks to the incredible customization features, smooth and seamless flow motion animations, and there are a lot of visual changes that just makes the whole experience a lot more satisfying and fun to use. With that being said, I'll show you some of the amazing new Oxygen OS 16 features that can provide you with one of the best Android experiences you can get on any phone right now. So it's gonna be a super interesting video, make sure to watch it until the very end. Also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. Drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. First things first, you're gonna notice this new frosted glass design implemented throughout the UI and you can find this visual change in many different places such as the lock screen or even when you unlock your phone using the passcode. Here if you tap on any of the numbers, you can see this nice glow effect and the reflection goes on to the other buttons too. Similarly, you get the same glass effect inside the calculator app and when you press any button, the reflection looks really cool. Another thing they have added inside the calculator is the new easter egg. So whenever you type 1 plus equals 2, you now get this new animation followed by never settle which looks quite different from the previous version. Even when you long press on the home screen, you can see this frosted glass design and when you go inside some of these stock apps such as photos, you see this new layout with a frosted glass effect here as well. So it looks like they have definitely taken some inspiration from Apple's liquid glass but I actually like the way how they implemented this all across the UI. I think it does look really really good. Other than that, I also like the new charging animation with the ripple effect and this combined with the new redesigned lock screen looks absolutely stunning. Guys, you also get one new fingerprint animation and in case that is not enabled on your phone by default even after installing the Oxygen OS 16 update, then simply go to settings, home screen and lock screen, then click on more and choose fingerprint animation. Here now you get this new ring animation which I think goes really well with the overall aesthetics and the new design language of Oxygen OS. By the way, if you love these kind of wallpapers that I feature on my videos, since I get a lot of questions regarding this on my channel, I wanted to let you know that you can get these awesome wallpapers from an app called ScreenCraft. It's my go-to application whenever I want to find some beautiful wallpapers for my phone. So definitely check this one out. Link will be provided in the description below. Now coming to lock screen customization features. Guys, we all must admit OnePlus has done a fantastic job in terms of customizations related to the lock screen. We now get the all new full screen always on display feature where we can also see the wallpaper along with the shortcuts and notifications just like what we already have in One UI and iOS. The lock screen on Oxygen OS 16 is one of my favorites. I mean just look at how stunning it is. We have got a transparent kind of a frosted glass effect added to the clock. And the best part is we now have the option to add widgets to the lock screen. You can add up to 6 different widgets and although it might resemble the iOS liquid glass design, this combined with a beautiful wallpaper and that depth effect in the background makes everything look so pleasing to the eyes. When you go to the settings page, then home screen and lock screen, here we have got the fresh, new and beautiful looking interface where we have got all the lock screen options at the top followed by other customizations like the wallpaper, icon packs, AOD and more. By the way, here you can also see why they are calling it as flow motion animations. I mean the entire UI feels extremely fluid and smooth. Another cool thing is that when you swipe and move from one theme to another, we get this reflection right below the lock screen. These kind of small things and attention to detail makes the whole experience a lot better. Now when you tap and go to the customization page, here you can choose between three different clock styles and the widget's position change automatically depending on the clock style that you choose. In addition to this, you also get the depth effect feature, you can change the clock color and there is an option to change the lock screen shortcuts too. So you get all the elements that gonna help you customize and make your lock screen stand out. Along with this, they've also added a ton of new flux themes that will surely take your lock screen customization to the next level. 
there are some gorgeous looking animated themes then there is a live clock section which again looks absolutely stunning next we have got themes with never settle quotes and motivations you can even change the text on the lock screen which is something that wasn't available with Oxygen OS 15. So now you can add your own text and personalize the lock screen however you want to. Not just that, you also get the option to choose different fonts and I really like the way how they have designed all these beautiful themes. I mean they all look incredible and you get plenty of options here. So even if you don't have enough time to customize your lock screen, you can still use any of the presets and get a gorgeous look in no time. Next, if you look at my home screen, it does look quite different compared to the Oxygen S15. First, we'll start with the all new widgets. If I go into the widget section, not only have they redesigned the layout where you just need to tap on the app and it shows all the available widgets related to that thing. They've also added some new clock widgets and I think they all look really really good. I mean they follow the new design language and perfectly matches the overall aesthetics of your new home screen. Apart from that, we also get a couple of new battery widgets, a currency converter that looks beautiful and then we have some new weather widgets too. The best part is now you can actually resize the widgets and you get many widgets in different sizes. Next, if you talk about the icons, well some of the system icons have been redesigned but what's more interesting here is that the icons are now scalable. You just need to long press on any icon and you get the option to resize it however you want to. Even it lets you add shortcuts related to that specific app. I think this can be super useful at times. And the coolest part is it also works for third party apps too. Not just that, if you go inside the app icon settings, you have a brand new toggle that says auto dark icons. Once you toggle this on, then if you apply the dark theme on your phone, all your app icons will now have a dark background including the enlarge icons as well. So we finally got the proper dark icon support on Oxygen OS 16 which is not available on many other Android skins. Another interesting change is now you can choose between three different layouts for the app folders. We already had the option for the enlarge folders but now you can further customize and choose different layouts for your folders. Moving on to the app drawer, here also you can notice a few things. First things first, we now have the search bar at the bottom for easier access and I really like this bouncy little animation when I just click on it. At the top we have got two different sections, all apps and categories. All apps is your standard app drawer and when you go to the category section, it automatically sort your apps and put them in different folders. This might not look like something new or exciting since you have already seen this in many other skins but I like how we get access to two different app drawers at the same time. Next, if I open the quick settings on my phone, it might look very similar at first but there are some important changes they have done. When you tap on the edit button, we now get the option to reposition the volume and brightness slider. Along with that, we can add two additional big tiles at the top portion and now it's divided into two different sections where the first part is more customizable than the other. Not only that, if you go into the quick settings page, here we've got the all new multicolor option for the tile color that basically adds different colors to the toggle making it look more attractive. So definitely there are some changes to the quick settings and now I think it looks much modern and clean compared to the previous Oxygen OS 15. Now it's time to talk about one of my favorite part of any Android UI and that is the animations. This time OnePlus is calling it flow motion animations and honestly they have taken this to a whole new level. I mean the integration in the entire UI feels a lot smoother and fluid. Not just app opening and closing animations got better which was already smooth but they've also worked on every single animation throughout the interface. Guys, each and every action you do on the Oxygen OS 16 feels so satisfying and smooth. Opening the app drawer, hitting the search bar, you get this nice bouncy effect. Then in the category section, when you open any of the folder, you can see how smooth the animation looks. Not just that, even when you open and close the sidebar, you now have this seamless animation that feels really really smooth. The transition from the AOD to the lock screen, when you unlock your phone, opening widgets in a stack folder, accessing the quick settings, even when you open and close apps from the enlarge icons, the animations still feel very smooth and fluid. When switching between different activities inside the capsule, adding screenshots to the plus mind, everything feels so fluid and smooth on the Oxygen OS 16 
and I've already mentioned this in one of my ColorOS 16 video that the OnePlus and Oppo phones now provide one of the smoothest Android experiences. Very soon, I'll be making a video comparing the animations between different Android skins, so stay tuned for that. Guys, these are some of the best new features of Oxygen OS 16 and easily this has become my favorite Chinese Android skin. I mean if you compare it with other Chinese UIs like the Hyper OS or even the Origin OS 6, this not only offers a lot of exciting features and customizations but also the aesthetics and the overall design feels much more modern and clean compared to other Chinese phones. Let me know in the comments section which is your favorite Oxygen OS 16 feature and if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.